how do you feel about the captaincy thing? I mean, you were captain last week and the kind of the centre of attention. This week here, you're there with uh, with with Paul in a kind of supporting role, almost like <laughs> my team with Mark O'Neill. I mean, how do you feel about that? Uh, uh, absolutely fine. I mean, um, Paulie was captain a couple of times for me during the summer. Um, Johnny was actually a little bit good at he wasn't captain during the summer, I think. <laughs> My uh, captain's <laughs> at the end a long time ago, <laughs> once <No>. I left. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's, I mean, it, it's like, it's a huge honour to be, you know, vice captain for the squad and kind of, uh, you know, Last week, having been represent the squad when Paulie wasn't wasn't starting um, as captain, and, and just as proud to, to kind of have Paulie lead and, and you know fall in behind him. Um, I mean, it makes it makes no difference no difference in terms of how I prepare for the game or anything like that. But I think Johnny Johnny hit home on it there earlier, saying that like you know that core of the team is is riddled with leaders. I mean. In the pack alone, uh, there's you know Rory, myself, Paulie, uh, Peter, Captain Ireland during the summer. I mean, that's four guys. Uh, you've got you know Doris out in the backs as well, as well as really good leaders like you know Reds are at nine as well. Um, you know he's he's quite vocal on the pitch, and so I mean, if Paulie wasn't available or if I wasn't available, you still got really good leaders there, you know, um, and and I think that's what's that's what's what, what's more important for the squad that we have that kind of core group that can kind of set that example, I suppose, and try to set a good example, and um, then everyone else kind of step up as well. Tony, before we